Your Excellency, the Governor of Ebonyi State, Engineer David Omahi. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Ebonyi State, Barrister Eric Igwe. The Right Honorable Speaker of the State House of Assembly, uh, Honorable Francis Wifuru, and other members of the State House of Assembly present. The Representative of the Chief Judge, of Ebonyi State. Your Excellency, the former Governor of Ebonyi State, Chief Martin Elechi, CON, members of the Ebonyi State House of the Ebonyi State Executive and Security Councils, uh, state traditional rulers present, uh, in particular His Royal Highness Eze Charles Mpuma, the President Eze Charles Mpuma then the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, our Reverend Father Dr. Abraham Wali, and all other religious leaders present, heads of federal government parastatals, all participants of the Ebony State National Micro, Small, and Medium Enterprises Clinics, market women, Market men. All of the entrepreneurs here for the distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I bring you all very warm greetings from the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari. The President has asked me to congratulate you, the people of Eboy, uh, the salt of the nation as well as the government of Ebony State for being the first state of all of our national MSME clinics to have an MSME clinic rerun. In other words, this is the second MSME clinic. Some may recall that in the first edition neither the governor nor I was able to attend. However, when the governor asked that we do this rerun, I mentioned it again to me at the National Economic Council, we made sure that we got ready very quickly to organize a date because of the very important partnership between Ebony State and the federal government. So let me congratulate His Excellency the governor uh, for a job well done not just in organizing this, and I'll mention this as I speak, but also uh, for the very, always, his mature collaboration at all times with the federal government, and his leadership, which is very important, not just in the Southeast, but in the entire nation. I also, I also thank you for the warm hospitality extended to me and members of my delegation. I'm encouraged by the number of outstanding MSMEs and individuals that I've had the pleasure to interact with alongside His Excellency the Governor this afternoon as I came. Based on what I've seen from the creative and passionate small businesses that are participating in this event today, I'm confident that the rapid economic transformation of Ebony State and indeed Nigeria is imminent that <clears throat> small businesses, we all know, are the engines of growth of our economy. And this is not mere rhetoric. It is a proven fact, which explains why the federal government has consistently worked to enable businesses and to create an enabling environment also for businesses to thrive, especially small businesses. These efforts are evident in our ease of doing business reforms, which continue to be celebrated, not just locally, but internationally, especially in the, uh, in the World Bank uh, ratings. And many of us, of course, are familiar with the fact that in the last World Bank ratings, we moved up very quickly again, I think another 24 spaces, and were declared to be 
one of the 10 best reforming economies in the world. And I think that this is on account of the fact that we are committed to transforming the business space and the business environment. Aside from that, we have a whole new Finance Act. Many of us are familiar with the fact that the Finance Act 2020 introduces a wide range of tax incentives for small businesses. And that, was, and that act was signed into law on January 13th of this year. The, the principles uh, in the Finance Act have given concrete expression to what we intend to achieve. Notably, the Finance Act completely exempts companies with a turnover of less than 25 million a year from paying any company's income tax at all. So for all small businesses, businesses that turn over less than 25 million a year, you are not required to pay any tax whatsoever. For businesses between 25 million to 100 million a year, they will now pay an income tax, significant, company's income tax, significantly lower than ever before. It's now at a lower rate of 20% from the previous 30% rate. So there's a 10% reduction in the company's income tax rate for companies that are turning over anywhere between 25 million naira to 100 million naira. In a similar vein, the Act now makes it clear that services that are provided by microfinance banks are exempted from VAT. So any of the microfinance banks, because they are lending to small businesses, we now insist that by the law, they are no longer required to pay VAT. So any of the microfinance banks now give their, 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 uh, do their lending without the payment of any VAT. It's important to emphasize that small businesses must take full advantage of the opportunities offered by these MSME clinics. Just as the MSME clinics provide an opportunity for the federal government's regulatory agencies to let small businesses know about their requirements and their business procedures. MSMEs are also expected to use this opportunity to bring up the challenges that they face and look for possible solutions alongside the regulatory agencies. Today, we've brought with us several of the regulatory agencies, the Bank of Industry as one of the lending institutions, the, comp, uh, the CAC, uh, the, uh, corp, uh, the uh, Corporate Affairs Commission, NAFDAQ, SON, and several of the other regulatory agencies. And that's the whole idea of the clinics, to bring these regulatory agencies right here to meet with the small businesses so that by that interaction, the symbiotic process of being able to see what the, the needs of the other are and what the requirements of each other are we can actually have a much better business environment and a much more fruitful uh, relationship between our small businesses and uh, several of the regulatory agencies. Just as some other states, uh, some other state governments have done, I would wish to urge the Ebony state government also to see, to see how we can build on the achievements of these clinics by doing some of the following. The first is the creation of a one-stop regulatory uh, stop one stop regulatory shop for all of the regulatory agencies now what this means is that we'll have one office somewhere where our regulatory agencies can come and set up shop so that small businesses can see them here in a boy state as opposed to going to lagos or abuja or wherever they are stationed at the moment this enables our small businesses to interact easily with the regulatory agencies. And the second is the organization of a state version of the MSME clinics. I know, of course, that there is already a very robust environment for small businesses here. But I think it will help a great deal if we can have a state version, which of course will involve the local governments of these MSME clinics. And we can assure you that the regulatory agencies will be present. The third is that, and this is by extension, getting state regulatory agencies also to key into the spirit and letter of the MSME clinics. In other words, to encourage the state regulatory agencies 
to partner with us, to partner with the federal government's regulatory agencies in order to work together to give a better business environment for small businesses. Some of the consistent feedbacks that we've received from MSMEs uh, is that there's a high financial burden in buying equipment. Now, these are equipments that they require for their, for their businesses. So, for example, a cluster of tailors may require a special monogramming machine. And, of course, one individual tailor may not be able to afford it. And this is one of the problems that MSMEs have. Sometimes the equipment is so expensive. I know just from speaking to the state governor that he's bought several uh, machines for MSMEs. But what we want to achieve also is what, is this, what we describe as a shared facility, which is a facility which allows clusters of businesses to come together to share expensive machines provided by the government, in, our, in this case, the federal government. So in collaboration with the state governments, we are prepared to build these shared facilities where we will put in machines that are too expensive for individual businesses to buy so that business clusters, you know, clusters of those who are manufacturing, of those who are trading, those who are making shoes, those who are making bags and all that can benefit from the use of expensive machines which were put into these uh, clusters. The other thing that we do about these clusters is that they are pre-certified by the relevant agencies so that we already register them with the federal government's regulatory agencies so that there is no need for the MSMEs to go through the process of registering again. So we register the, we register the facilities. So you don't need to go back to NAVDA to say we are just going to uh, show, we are going to get certification for the facility. They will be pre-registered ahead of time. So distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, having heard and noted some of the other challenges facing small businesses, we will prompt action on these issues for the next MSME clinics and update also the National Economic Council on some of the developments. I've heard already quite a few of the complaints and the complaints are the same in the complaints that small businesses have. And some have to do with credit, with getting sufficient credit at a, you know, especially uh, low interest credit. Some have to do with purchase of machines, some of what I've talked about. Many have to do with the problems with regulatory agencies and the time it takes to be able to register products, either with NAFDAQ or SOM or any of these other regulatory agencies. And I assure you that we will take great pains to ensure that all of these issues affecting MSMEs and including the overzealousness of government officials are addressed comprehensively in order to foster the growth and deepen uh, economic inclusion. We we'll also strive to ensure that MSMEs stay informed of how federal government agencies can play an enabling role in advancing their businesses. In the effort to solve challenges for and champion small businesses and uh, small businesses across the country, we'll continue to improve the initiatives that we have for supporting MSMEs. Some of these initiatives include, uh, one, the recently approved uh, 20 million US dollars, the technology fund, which is run by the Bank of Industry, to support young innovators and encourage uh, the technology ecosystem. Some of these young innovators, and I've seen quite a few of them today, I saw a gentleman who was building a helicopter already. And some of these young innovators need uh, assistance. Some of them are technology innovators, they need assistance. It is, it is for these types of purposes that the Bank of Industry has this special fund for innovation and technology. The second is the 90 billion Naira fund, which is provided by the CBN through the National Microfinance Bank to agriculture-based MSMEs. So this 90 billion Naira fund is for agriculture-based MSMEs, and it is in, uh, it is, with the CBN, is disbursed through the Na uh, National Microfinance Bank. Agriculture-based MSMEs are in the entire value chain, not just farmers, but all of those involved in the value chain, those who are processing, those who are converting uh, products I've seen, for example, those who are making mushrooms, those who are uh, making uh, plantain flour 
and the various other processes that are, comp that, that are involved in the agro allied value chain. All of them are eligible for the 90 billion fund, which uh, the CBN is rolling out now through the, uh, through the National Microfinance Fund. The rollout also of NAFDAQ's e-registration platform and a 75% cost reduction for product registration. NAFDAQ is now rolling out an e-platform for registration. So those who want to register their products, and there are so many, I've seen so many products today that may not have NAFDAQ numbers already. NAFDAQ is rolling out an e-platform for doing so and is also giving a discount of 75% of the charges. So there's a, there's a great opportunity now for registering products you know, at just about 25% of what it used to cost on the new NAFDAQ e-platform. There's also a partnership between SMEDAN and the Corporate Affairs Commission to register MSMEs en masse and build a comprehensive database to help plan and coordinate and deploy policy responses to some of the challenges of our small businesses. So it's, this, this is also a platform which uh, the, C, the, the, the CAC is, is working uh, alongside Smedan with. They want to register as many small businesses as possible. In other words, a once and for all company registration for a large number of, of small businesses. The whole idea is to ensure that everybody who has a small business is able to set up a corporate entity because that way you are able to benefit from loans, both local and international facilities. And this is a, this is a project that Smedan and Corporate Affairs Commission are running. These are just a few of the initiatives to ensure an empowering and inclusive business environment for our small businesses. We, as federal government, will do our part. But I believe that it's important that we emphasize that we must all work together both the federal, state governments, local governments, as well as uh, the civil society groups, the business groups, you know, the chambers of commerce, all of us have uh, a, a, a bounding duty to ensure that we work together, to ensure that small businesses thrive and that all of the work that uh, we're all each trying to do is coordinated for the benefit of our people. In closing, let me again congratulate the governor of the Boyne State and his team for your focus on creating wealth for so many young and talented Nigerians who are here. And this is seen in the enormous investment that you have put into empowering small businesses, including the creation of an Office of Human Capital Development and Monitoring, uh, which uh, we have seen at work, especially in the organization of this particular clinic. This is aside from the massive infrastructural developments going on here, uh, which is so evident everywhere we turn. Well done indeed. Congratulations. I, so I thank you once again for your kindness and for the warmth of your welcome. And I commend the participants for making, uh, all, for making the time to, to attend this uh, clinic, but also for ensuring that you have taken full advantage of all the opportunities that this clinic has presented. From the quality of work that I've seen, I have no doubt that the MSMEs from Ebony State will do well in the third edition of the National MSME Awards. So I encourage you all to apply for these uh, National MSME Awards and to participate in that process. The last winner of the MSME Awards went home with a, with a car. And so if you are looking out to win a nice, lovely saloon car, I think you should apply immediately. Only MSMEs are allowed, individuals are not allowed, because I see some people who are looking, uh, they are not MSMEs, some government officials who are not MSMEs are looking as if they want to win the car. So only MSMEs, private companies are allowed. Thank you very much and God bless you.